So you just got yourself a new Xbox Series X and you have an amazing 1440p monitor that can run at 120 hertz, but you're banging your head up against the wall because you can't get it to run at 120 hertz. Well, stick around and I'll show you why it isn't running and how to get it to work. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments and I've been seeing a lot of comments from viewers just like you who have that nice new monitor that can run at 1440p resolution at 120 hertz, but when you hook it up to your Series X, you're not able to get it to actually run at 120 at that resolution. So what can you do? Well, the first thing I want to do is show you a, a comment that came directly from an Xbox ambassador. And so as you can see here, um, he states that this is a very, very common issue. And at the moment, there isn't a lot you can do about it. The problem is the Xbox expects to see certain timings from the display, but many PC monitors have custom timings. It's also important to note that these timings aren't exact. The console will probably like 119.98 Hertz, but if the display's actual refresh is 119.88, then it will be a no-go for 120 Hertz on your monitor over HDMI. He mentions these timings are called VESA timings, and while the monitors have now become really popular with console gamers, the current models on offer are largely sold and marketed towards PC owners. Their specifications don't match Xbox because PC can use custom non-standard refresh rates that the Xbox may not support. He goes on to say he would like to point out again that this is a console problem, not a monitor one. All right, and so you might be reading that and saying, oh, well, crud, I've got this new monitor. I just went out and purchased this specifically for my Xbox Series X. And you know, what am I gonna do? Do I need to return it? What can I do? Did I just waste all of this money on this monitor? So I may have a solution for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into the Xbox and go through a few of the settings that I think will be able to help you out. All right, and so keep in mind, I am going to be changing the settings that are going to technically be on my TV. So I'll go through the steps that you need to change and the items that you need to change for your PC monitor. Uh, but some things I may not actually change or when I change them, it may reflect a little bit differently because it's on my TV versus the monitor. So just keep that in mind, guys. I don't have a PC monitor to, to show you exactly how to do it, but I will show you the uh, spots that you need to change these and what to change. All right, so let's go ahead and jump straight into the Xbox and show you what you need to do. All right, guys, so the first thing that you want to do is come down into your TV and display options. You'll want to go over to Video Fidelity and Overscan, check that and then make sure that you have on display options that you have auto detect recommended selected. Now, once you have that selected, you'll want to back out and then go back over to video modes and then make sure you have allow 4K unchecked. Since you're already in this screen, you also wanna come down here to above this section where it says allow variable refresh rate. Also make sure you have that checked. And then you also wanna go onto your PC monitor and make sure you still have FreeSync enabled. As you can see here, the admin that I mentioned earlier states again that Ignore anyone talking about getting a monitor to work at 120 hertz with VRR or FreeSync disabled. This is not a good idea at all. Most 120 hertz games don't actually reach 120 frames per second. This means horrible screen tearing and stuttering with VRR off. After you've done all of these changes, sometimes you'll get a pop-up that says the refresh rate isn't supported with your current resolution. So we've set you to the highest resolution supported by your display with the refresh rate. If this happens, you'll want to go back into video fidelity and overscan, and then under video fidelity and color depth, make sure that if you are currently set on either 36 or 30, just basically try the next step down and see if that lets you uh, switch over to there. If it doesn't, then you go down to the eight bits, then for sure it should let you do that. Now, once you've done all of those steps, you should be able to come back here. You should be able to select your 1440p and you should see the option for the 120 Hertz refresh rate and just obviously select that and move on. So once you've done all that, you should be good to go guys. I hope this works for you. Please let me know in the comments below if this is truly working for you all or if there's something you've done. Again, guys, I am not a PC monitor gamer. So I've done some research to find these settings and I hope that it helps you out. So 
Uh, please go easy on me as I'm not a PC gamer and I'm not using a monitor. But again, I hope it works for you. And if it doesn't, guys, let everybody know in the comments. We'll just move on from this video. But if it does, I hope this works well for everyone. And if you are in fact actually on a TV or if you have a monitor that does run 4K at 120 hertz and you're trying to get that set up, then make sure you check the video that's coming up on the screen next. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching this video today and I will see you in the next one.